Fear of losing connection People get a sense of connection when they feel bad. Having problems gives Jia a sliver of empathy from other people that feels better than going out there facing risks, and ultimately building a life others envy. As sad as it sounds, most people will be friendlier and more empathetic Topo or Jim who can barely cover the rent than to Stephanie, a highly accomplished self-made businesswoman who makes them feel insignificant because of her fiats. Victimhood isn't a good way to become an accomplished person, but it does provide some level of comfort and security that makes certain people remain in their safe bubble. When you reach success, you'll face envy from critics. Some people will start questioning your intentions. You'll outgrow certain people and possibly make new enemies. Accept that reaching your goals inevitably means dealing with some of those problems. However, it doesn't mean that if you reach success, you'll never get support again. Actually, the first step to deal with the fear of losing connection is to ensure that the support system you have in place will be there for you when you grow tired of making yourself a victim. A lasting support system is usually made up of two groups of people. Your closest friends and family, who've been there with you no matter what. It's one of the most valuable things you can have in life. If you have those individuals, you won't need much else social-wise to succeed. They will be there to encourage you throughout the entire journey and you should be there to encourage them throughout their own journeys people who have already achieved success or are striving to reach it like you do. It's not a big deal if you don't know such people yet. When you start working on your goals, you'll naturally build this support group. If you want to become a professional artist, surrounding yourself with fellow artists ideally those who are more successful than you are will give you a stronger sense of connection than trying to explain to your non-artist friends why on earth you want to paint those useless paintings or record these stupid songs. If you want to become a rock climber, fellow climbers will be more than eager to infect you with their passion and help you develop your skills. If you want to get your financial life in order, personal finance bloggers and members of personal finance forums will support your hard decisions and offer you a sense of belonging. In the same speech I already cited, JK Rowling said, I was convinced that only thing I wanted to do, ever, was to write novels. However, my parents both of whom came from impoverished backgrounds and neither of whom had been to college, took the view that my overactive imagination was an amusing personal quirk that would never pay a mortgage, or secure a pension. Imagine that. If the parents of a woman who eventually became an extremely successful novelist couldn't offer her support and considered her goal an amusing quirk, then you certainly shouldn't feel bad if you're in the same position. If you want to quit your cushy corporate job, but everyone around you is stuck in the rat race and can't imagine another way of living, don't expect them to support you in your goal as well as people who are on track to quit or have already done so would. It's key. To understand that, try as you might, you're not going to change other people's deeply held beliefs about certain important issues. I couldn't persuade me parents that one could succeed in life without going to college. They only believed me when I started making more money than 99.9% .9 of people of my age. For several years I was building my business with little to no understanding gun support from other people. I didn't have much encouragement and I had to believe in myself. Following the writings of successful entrepreneurs and exchanging messages with them has helped me stick to my resolutions until I finally had a breakthrough. If you can't find support elsewhere, turn to books and the internet and I'm sure you'll find reassurance there. In conclusion, if you're failing because you feel like it's you against the world, try to build a social bubble that will support your endeavors even if it merely consists of online strangers on a discussion forum or a stack of books written by people you admire. Dealing with a fear-driven failure Quick recap 1. The fourth type of failure is fear-driven failure. It can be further broken down into, fear of the unknown, fear of rejection, fear of losing your identity and fear of losing connection. Point two. When dealing with a fear of the unknown and a fear of rejection, the only way to prevent that is to expose yourself to difficult and uncomfortable situations in which you face the unknown or a possible rejection. The more often I you do it, the more comfortable you'll get with it. Soon you'll learn how to act ish but those unpleasant emotions of discomfort, and fear will cease to be a paralyzing factor in your life. Point 3. 
When you fail because of the fear of losing your identity, it's because there are certain negative aspects of your life that you consider you. If you consider obesity, poverty, shyness, or any other negative trait to be a part of your identity, it's scary and uncomfortable to throw them out. However in the end you have to stop romanticizing the bad aspects of your life and realize that life is growth. The sooner you get rid of those bad things, the better your life will become. Point four. Lastly, people fear they'll lose connection when they start working on or reach their bold goals. This fear is not unfounded. Some people will consider your efforts a threat to their self-esteem. The best solution is to surround yourself with individuals who don't exhibit such a behavior and will actively help you reach your goals.